can you over prep? Great question. Very good question. Terrifying question. I now I'm never prepping again. <laughs> um, you, you, you never want to leave your in the moment instinct, uh, elsewhere. Um, I don't fear that. I don't fear over prepping. I don't fear, let's say, having my lines down before I arrive to the first day of rehearsal, for example. I'm not sure if I did that, but um, because I know that I would rather have that kind of foundation to leap off of than not have it. And I know that I'm going to leap. No matter what, I'm going to leap. I am not worried about over prep. Um, you are throwing away all the work as soon as you're face to face with another actor, as soon as you're on set, as soon as you're on stage or in the rehearsal room, you are throwing it away. You are, you are hoping that it will like a river channel through you, but you're not thinking of it actively. Your, my sense memory, if I ever use sense memory very often, it's done, but in theater, you know, you are in a collision with another actor. In film, there's a, sometimes there's a machine between you and another actor, right? right. And it's sometimes it's pointing just at you. And it's so it's, it's, you are, you're kind of working on your emotional sense memory, like for yourself. Um, but there is, the machine isn't there in theater. And so, especially if your fellow actors are, are raw, and present, that collision is thrilling, and you have to be available to it. Um, but you do have to do it again and again in theater, like night after night after night. And my goal in doing that was rather than just kind of focus on getting, you know, better at the scenes. You do. You can get better at the scenes. You can get faster and more on it. And I almost find that to be dangerous. What I tried to do, tried to do was to constantly um, further and further like uh, tenderize the scene, make it more tender, vulnerableize the scene, you know, to replant triggers <laughs> in, in surprising locations through the story, um, almost like hidden mines for myself that would go off within me unexpectedly and change those every so often and change relationships and and whisper something in my fellow actor's ears right before we would go on that would just make it more delicate more tender night after night and that's having done a ton of prep that's having done a ton of research that's having done a ton of reading a ton of time in an incubator and in a space that i rented uh, working with someone I've worked with who's brilliant in a little camp. I call them little camps. Um, but, you know, prep is always difficult. It's, it's, it's elusive. You know, it can be elusive. And um, you don't know. You don't always know. Uh, 